Luton, who'd lost their last four away games, were soon in trouble against Chelsea. Kerry Dixon denied by Danny Wilson on the goal line. And when the ball comes back in, Wilson's in the right place again. The replay showing what a good flick it was by Dixon. And that's the value of having a player on the line. The skipper digging Luton out of the hole. Soon after, Kingsley Black showed why Nottingham Forest were prepared before the transfer deadline to spend more than half a million on him. A lovely run and check to make room for the shot. It was well saved by Pheasant. Chelsea unbeaten in ten games, and that includes a Wembley win in the ZDS Cup, are finishing the season in style, frustrated initially there. That's a cracking volley from Dury. The ball actually clipping Bumstead's head on the way, making the save from Chamberlain even more admirable. Clive Wilson was a second-half substitute for his namesake, Kevin, and he got on the end of a sweeping attack here. Dury with the dummy. Not a bad strike from Wilson. A very good save from Chamberlain. So the score sheet still blank, but not for very much longer. Kerry Dixon toying with Tim Breaker, the right-back, waiting and waiting for a call, perhaps. And if it came from Dury... The cross was inch perfect. Chamberlain saving the initial effort, but Dury stooping to make sure. The keeper actually desperately unlucky. But nothing wrong with Dury's reactions on this occasion. So 1-0 after 72 minutes, and the Scottish international really should have had a second in the closing moments. Dixon is again the provider on the left-hand side. Keep your eyes on number 10. How on earth did he miss that? The replay actually giving us a better idea. The one that got away. Chelsea 1, Luton Town 0.